The UK Met Office has issued a yellow weather warning for strong winds across various parts of the country. This warning signals the potential for disruptive winds reaching up to 60 miles per hour. These conditions are expected to begin late Wednesday and persist throughout Thursday. Residents and visitors alike are urged to take necessary precautions as these winds could lead to hazardous situations. It's important to stay informed about the latest weather updates and follow safety advice from authorities. The Met Office utilizes a color-coded system to communicate the severity of weather events, with yellow indicating a potential risk. While not as severe as amber or red warnings, a yellow warning for wind signifies conditions that could disrupt travel plans, cause power outages and potentially lead to minor damage. It's crucial to remain vigilant and take the necessary steps to ensure safety during this period of high winds. These warnings are not to be taken lightly. The brunt of this storm is expected to hit northern Wales, northern England and southern Scotland. These areas are predicted to experience the strongest winds, with gusts potentially exceeding 60 miles per hour in some locations. Residents in these regions are advised to be particularly cautious, especially those residing in areas prone to wind damage. Coastal communities in these areas face an added threat from large waves. The combination of strong winds and high tides can lead to dangerous coastal flooding and erosion. It's crucial for individuals living in coastal areas to stay informed about tide times and any potential flood warnings issued by local authorities. The geography of these regions, characterized by hilly terrain and exposed coastlines, makes them more susceptible to the full force of strong winds. Structures located on high ground or near the coast are particularly vulnerable to wind damage. This vulnerability underscores the importance of securing loose objects, reinforcing vulnerable structures and having an emergency plan in place. Being prepared is paramount in mitigating the risks posed by strong winds. The strong winds expected across parts of the UK bring with them a high probability of travel disruptions. Road, rail and air travel are all susceptible to delays and cancellations due to high winds. Fallen trees and debris obstructing roadways and railway lines are common occurrences during such weather events leading to significant travel delays. Airlines may also be forced to delay or cancel flights for safety reasons, particularly at airports located in coastal areas where crosswinds can make takeoffs and landings hazardous. The potential for power outages is another significant concern during periods of high winds. Power lines are vulnerable to damage from falling trees and debris, which can result in widespread power cuts. These power outages can disrupt daily life, affecting homes, businesses and essential services. It's advisable to have alternative lighting sources such as torches and candles readily available and to ensure mobile devices are fully charged in case of a power cut. While the UK is no stranger to windy conditions, the current weather warning is being exacerbated by the remnants of Hurricane Ernesto. This isn't just a typical windy day, it's a complex meteorological event influenced by a storm that originated thousands of miles away. The remnants of Hurricane Ernesto, which once roared through the Atlantic as a powerful hurricane, are now making their presence felt in the UK. Though it has been downgraded to a tropical storm, its impact is far from over. Even as a tropical storm, Ernesto's influence is significant. The storm's journey across the Atlantic has set the stage for a series of weather events that are now unfolding over the UK. Ernesto's presence in the North Atlantic is influencing weather patterns across the UK. The storm's counterclockwise circulation is drawing up warm, moist air from the south and pushing it towards the UK. This warm, moist air is being funneled into the region, creating a dynamic and unstable atmosphere. As it collides with colder air masses over the UK, it generates an area of low pressure and instability. The result is a volatile mix of weather conditions, with strong winds and heavy rain becoming more likely. This clash of air masses is what's fueling the strong winds and heavy rain expected across parts of the country. The interaction between these air masses is a key factor in the development of severe weather. It's a reminder of how interconnected our weather systems are, with events in one part of the world having ripple effects thousands of miles away. This area of low pressure and instability is a breeding ground for turbulent weather. The UK's position on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean makes it particularly susceptible to these influences. 
The strong winds and heavy rain expected across parts of the country are a direct result of this atmospheric instability. It's a stark reminder of the power of nature and the far-reaching impacts of tropical storms. The remnants of hurricanes and tropical storms can often have far-reaching impacts on weather patterns thousands of miles away. Understanding these connections is crucial for accurate forecasting and preparedness. Meteorologists work tirelessly to track these storms and predict their impacts. By understanding the link between distant weather systems and local weather events, they can provide more accurate forecasts and help communities prepare for severe weather. The UK, situated on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean, is particularly susceptible to the influence of tropical cyclones transitioning into extra-tropical storms. These storms, though weakened, can still pack a punch, bringing strong winds and heavy rainfall to the region. The transition from tropical to extra-tropical storm is a complex process. But it doesn't diminish the storm's potential impact. In fact, these storms can sometimes become even more dangerous as they interact with other weather systems. Weakened storms can still cause significant damage. The strong winds and heavy rainfall they bring can lead to flooding, power outages and other disruptions. The heavy rainfall can saturate the ground, leading to flooding while the strong winds can bring down trees and power lines. It's a potent combination that can have serious consequences for communities. This interaction highlights the interconnectedness of global weather patterns. What happens in one part of the world can have significant consequences for weather systems in other regions. It underscores the importance of international collaboration in monitoring and predicting weather events. By working together, meteorologists can share data and insights, improving our ability to forecast and respond to severe weather. International collaboration is key to mitigating the potential impact of severe weather. By sharing knowledge and resources, we can better understand and prepare for the challenges posed by these powerful natural phenomena. Coastal areas are expected to experience particularly hazardous conditions due to the combined force of strong winds and high tides. These natural elements can create a dangerous environment that can change rapidly, making it crucial for everyone to stay informed and prepared. The Met Office is urging people to exercise extreme caution near coastal areas as large waves pose a significant risk. These waves can be deceptively powerful, and even experienced swimmers can find themselves in perilous situations. The powerful winds can whip up enormous waves, especially during high tide, leading to overtopping and coastal flooding. This can result in significant damage to infrastructure and property, as well as posing a serious threat to human life. Walking along beaches, piers or coastal paths during such conditions is extremely dangerous and should be avoided. The force of the waves can easily knock a person off balance and the strong currents can quickly pull them out to sea. The unpredictability of large waves can easily catch someone off guard, sweeping them off their feet and into the turbulent sea. It's important to remember that the ocean is much stronger than it appears and its power should never be underestimated. In addition to the immediate danger posed by the waves themselves, there's also a risk of being struck by flying debris carried by the wind. This debris can include anything from tree branches to man-made objects, all of which can cause serious injury. Loose objects and debris can become dangerous projectiles in strong winds, posing a significant threat to anyone in their path. It's essential to secure all outdoor items and ensure that nothing is left that could become airborne. Coastal communities should be particularly vigilant about securing loose objects around their properties and businesses to prevent them from becoming airborne hazards. This includes patio furniture, trash cans and any other items that could be picked up by the wind. Remember, safety should always be the top priority during severe weather events. Taking shelter indoors and staying away from windows can protect you from the dangers of flying debris and strong winds. Heeding the warnings issued by authorities and taking necessary precautions can mean the difference between life and death. Stay updated with the latest weather reports and follow the advice given by emergency services. Always prioritize your safety and that of your loved ones when it comes to the power of the ocean, especially during periods of strong winds and high tides. By staying informed and prepared, you can help ensure that you and your family remain safe during these dangerous conditions. The timing of this weather warning coincides with the upcoming bank holiday weekend in the UK. 
a time when many people are looking forward to a break from their daily routines. Many people may have travel plans or outdoor activities scheduled, but it's crucial to stay informed about the latest weather forecasts and be prepared for potential disruptions. Checking the weather regularly can help you make informed decisions and avoid unnecessary risks. The Met Office will continue to monitor the situation closely and issue updates as needed. Their team of meteorologists is working around the clock to provide the most accurate and timely information possible. Those planning to travel by road should be aware that some routes may be affected by closures due to fallen trees or flooding. It's important to stay updated on road conditions and be prepared for unexpected delays. It's advisable to check traffic updates before setting off and to allow extra time for your journey. This can help you avoid getting caught in traffic jams or dangerous driving conditions. Consider postponing non-essential travel until the weather conditions improve. Sometimes staying home can be the safest and most comfortable option. For those planning outdoor activities, it's important to have a backup plan in case the weather takes a turn for the worse. This could mean moving your picnic indoors or rescheduling your hike for another day. Consider indoor alternatives or reschedule for a day with more favourable weather conditions. Indoor activities can be just as enjoyable and provide a safe environment for everyone. Remember, safety should always come first. Whether you're travelling or staying home, taking precautions can help prevent accidents and ensure everyone's well-being. Enjoying the bank holiday weekend should not come at the expense of personal safety or well-being. There are plenty of ways to have fun and relax without putting yourself or others at risk. Stay informed about the latest weather forecasts, heed any warnings issued by authorities and be prepared to adjust your plans accordingly. Being proactive can help you avoid last-minute stress and ensure a smoother experience. By being adaptable and prioritizing safety, you can still have an enjoyable and memorable bank holiday weekend.